Audi partners. Today we are here in the United States of America and what we do here is freedom, liberty and rating because today I brought an old fella from Europe to find out what life is like in the Americas. Now this massive, massive map that you see in front of you is the map of After the End, a mod for Crusader Kings 3 that puts you in post-apocalyptic America, both North and South America, and lets you do a whole bunch of really, really disgusting things, like for example, the Holy Columbian Commonwealth. Or over here we have the techno-Buddhist bubble of California. And let's not forget the tribe of the mouse, or this guy who thinks that he's Ali fabulously. <laughs> Listen, what do you want me to tell you? This is a great mod. Actually, there is something very specific that I can tell you, and that is that I made this mod better because I brought an old friend with me, and that friend is none other, of course, than Young Hastine. Young Hastine right here, instead of taking Montague and becoming the terror that we know him as in CK3, instead decided, hey, you know what, why don't I just time travel over there and then land in America and of course become a menace to society over there as well. The Hastining dynasty will be known worldwide. Now the goal today is pretty simple. We just want to enjoy after the end as we raid, pillage and completely annihilate everything that already is kind of annihilated after the world has ended. Hopefully we can get that done and hopefully I as a European don't make too many grave errors when talking about American things. See, I have played after the end in CK2 and CK3 often enough that I know a couple of things. For example, I know this right here is called the Mitten. When somebody told me about this the first time, I was like, what does the cat from New Zealand have to do with this? And it's, it's obviously, okay, you know? But hey, listen, this is the experience that Americans have when they play in Europe, so it's only fair that there's at least some payback sometimes. We are here a Viking, so this is a faith from after the end. You can see the holy sites are in Green Bay, in Minneapolis, and in Chicago, which, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, are the Chicago Bears, the Minnesota Vikings, right, and then the Green Bay Packers. I don't know where the last one is. Isn't Detroit? Shouldn't that be a, a city as well? But this is basically the NFC North combined with... This? I, listen, Thunderbait, it's a cool name! Obviously, you gotta make that a holy side, right? But more importantly, this faith is as strong as the Asatru faith, if not better. You can see right now, domain taxes are worse, sure, but our naval speed is better, our raid speed is better, and there is no advantage penalty from disembarking. Yes, this is insanity. Now, our culture is also pretty good. We are the Yupas. Why did I say it like that? We are the Yupas, and we are practice pirates, staunch traditionalists, and we have blitz tactics, which makes it so that linemen can be recruited. Uh, very, very cool. I guess those are our Viking troops right here. We get better traits for generally physical people, and I think that is good because, well, we will be very warfare-minded. And then, the most important part, I am a cheesemonger. I can make cheese. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't found out where to do that. I looked at the decisions, I didn't see anything. I really want to make cheese. That might even be the main goal of this playthrough, quite frankly. Now, first things first to highlight here, with the historical Hastin, you need to be very fast because you're already an old man. I think he's like 52 or something. And while he can become 120 for no good reason, we don't really can expect that right here. But we have a lot of time because we're 18. And I think a good start would just be establishing more raiding bases. See, it's always convenient if you can raise your troops, for example, over here to raid the East Coast and then raise your troops over here to raid the Great Lakes. So, you know what? Why don't I just take a quick gander at who here I could... Oh, look at that. That is perfect. We're going to take out Chieftain Patrick. He has it coming. Uh, and right away, the remaining Catholics are like Crusader Kings. So in my experience, the Crusades normally launch for like this area. Uh, I hope that I get spared because we are technically in Canada. This is the Kingdom of Ontario. So maybe they will just ignore me. In case you didn't know this, by the way, there's a huge, huge red tail of backstory for the faiths. Because you have to imagine, hey, the world ends and now you're asking yourself, we can't contact the Pope. Who the hell tells us what we need to believe in? And they do a bit of congregation, they do it here and they do it there. And in the end, in the north at least, in the USA, you get a very, very strong conclavian papacy. They live here in middle America and they're having a good time. All right, now if I'm not mistaken, and I might be, but if I'm not mistaken, oh my God, there's a whale there. All right, if I'm not mistaken, we can just kind of attack here and there won't be any penalties. If I die because of this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it, but we should be good, right? Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a downside to disembarking. And they were even running. It actually works. I'm so happy to see that because I was really worried that I was just gonna lose my entire army in the very first engagement. And we caught him. Very, very easy indeed. Well, let's enforce our demands and this gives us a new raiding base right here on the East Coast. All right, and now that I have secured a raiding base right here, I would actually kind of like it if we had another one. Just a very, you know, a tiny one, a cute little base down here. 
but this seems to be sort of empire haven, right? There's a bunch of really consolidated people here. So you know what? Instead, I'm just going to start raiding. Oh, and check this out. This is the city of Boston. I'm not even sure that we can raid it. I actually, I don't think we can. <laughs> we can't even raid this tribal holding. But look at that. They integrated the Cities of Wonders 3 mod. And my God, that is a beautiful little town right there. Oh my God, the AI is aggressive in this. This guy is actually trying to take Barn Stable from me. Uh, and he's a Salamite. But what, is he like a witch or something? Oh, look at that. He is inspired by Masonic influence and he's against the witches, I guess, because they do have an Inquisition right there. Uh, I'm gonna destroy you. See, just looking at this, honestly, the Great Lakes right here, they're pretty decent, but they are really well protected. Down here, there's a lot of land that I can conquer or raid and potentially actually beat the owners off. Honestly, let's take a look at this. <laughs> what is this dude doing? <laughs> what is this outfit? <laughs> oh my god. I love that helmet. He is so well prepared to die against me. Now my goal, at least midterm here, is to make it down into the Caribbean because it is incredibly rich. And the faster we can raid that, the better, right? So the midst up here would definitely be Florida. Since it is fairly divided, I might even want to found the Kingdom of Florida. But honestly, all that aside, I can't even get there right now because, yep, we are too far away to interact. Instead, um, I think I'm gonna destroy one of my favorite fellas. It is Count Levi the Liberator. I played him in CK2. He's amazing. Definitely check him out, but it's over for him in this one. I'm sorry. I love how we're just walking through this land. This is like, I'm a constitutionalist. I love freedom. Also, this Viking horde is just passing through New York City. Hmm, <laughs> can't be good. And now that we've captured a couple of people, we can actually get concubines and I can get rid of this right here. No player air is always very, very dangerous. So let's make sure that we get some children. No, New York is coming for me. Speaker Tadeus of New York. Uh, that really sucks because I definitely cannot beat him, but as long as I still have this county, I can declare war elsewhere. So you know what? Why don't we just say, that's okay. I'm gonna hop down here. Uh, let's grab a county. Absolutely. Now I'm not sure which one is the better county here, but since this belongs to the Duke, I can afterwards beat up the count anyway. So I might as well grab Jacksonville. And oh my God, now they're fighting over ocean. They <laughs> this guy's also declaring a war against me. They really, really hate me. To the annoying chieftain Hastine. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god, stop being so aggressive. Why do you hate me so much? Please. And man, I think these are the best swamps that I've seen. Maybe ever. I really like the way... Th these are the Everglades? Or is, is this down here the Everglades? Listen, what's the difference? It's all Florida, right? I really like the way this in particular he looks with Jacksonville. Alright, I kid you not for a second. This looked like the single best asset. A burning helmet? No, it's actually just... It, it was a perfectly aligned thing. I've never... <laughs> it looked so good. We are getting out of the Great Lakes area, and I think it is a really good choice because not only are the Catholics very angry, but the Galvanists now are as well. And the Galvanists, I mean, they're maniacs. They are the kind of people that are like, mm, back then they had machines, I should pray to them. And now they are getting their great holy wars. So I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna just get out of there. In the end, things actually turned out really, really well. I did lose the location right here, Boston conquered it. Hey, it is what it is, but I won out over Ocean. One of the aggressors just died, and then... This guy right here actually had nothing. Legitimately, I just beat him up. So, hey, there you go. We got a whole bunch of money and we can actually get to work now. Woo, and we got our first son, Helge. You look like you're going to be a great, great Viking. Wonderful. The real work begins right here. If you are already in the Americas and if you are hasty where you can just hop over to wherever you want to go, like for example, Florida right now, you should be going to Texas, right? The Lone Star State, the best place in all of America, the biggest place in all of America. Let's take over Galveston. Um, this guy is a pretty easy target and we should be able to do it. And after that, we can actually settle instead of just being assaulted from all sides because, well, I'm everywhere and nowhere at once. Howdy, partners. I'm here to land on you without any disembarking penalties because this is the best modifier I've ever seen. Go dunk on him. We have taken over League City, is that actually a real place by the way? And I've given away this city to my new mayor, Mayor Stewart. <laughs> Yeehaw, he's a Viking, but he's also Texan. Oh my god, he's trying again. I'm, I'm just gonna ignore this. You know, I really love raiding New Orleans. It's always so damn prosperous. It fills up your coffers in genuinely no time. And thank God that you can do that and they just donate their money to you because now we can actually create a duchy and that is so, so big. Because without this duchy, I am just constantly, you know, well, well beyond my domain level. Now what I'm gonna do might surprise you at least a little bit. Um, 
obviously Florida is closer to us and this stuff really isn't, but this stuff, if I'm not mistaken, is actually feudal, which, oh, it's... I'm clan? When did I become clan? Was I not feudal at the start? But hey, be that as it may, what we now can do now that I am a duke is I can actually go and hand out some titles. Now the logical step would be to hand out these because they don't have any authority so there is actually no control over these territories and more importantly they are tribes and tribal holdings are just bad. Now normally I would say I don't ever want to upgrade those tribal holdings because they just suck. But I might do it in this con uh, particular circumstance because we can raid so easily and so quickly that maybe it'll all be worth it. Um, I will give this stuff to my vassals and then keep this stuff with the actual duchy and of course a new home here in Texas. All right, we have blobbed. Our plan is progressing quite nicely, but listen, so far I haven't made a single piece of cheese and if you look at that, I haven't had a single barbecue yet. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, there are only two things that we really can do. One of them obviously is, I'm not gonna convert anything religiously here, but culturally speaking, I want cultural acceptance. The more the Texans are friendly to us, the easier it will be to actually create a hybrid culture and a hybrid culture between Texans and Vikings, that's perfection, right? Now the other side of the coin is of course that I want to create the kingdom of the old star and for that I need a couple more counties. Uh, Golden Crescent had, has made an amazing mistake of attacking a stronger target, which means I can just eat them. Um, I'll definitely take these two, yeah. And I think this roughly brings us to the point where I want to also have a grand raid. I'm gonna go around and terrorize everybody around me. This is why we have access to the East Coast, access to the Caribbean, and maybe we're even going to go to Brazil. Speaking of Brazil, what the hell is going on in this guy's throne room? Everything in it that is on the walls is actually just animal fur. Is he, is he just hunting? Is that all? <laughs> this guy's just hunt hunting every single day. This entire coastline was just us. Time for the Caribbean. Uh, or not. Um, you know what? The mouse declares war against me with 6,000 troops. Uh, you can just have that county. It's okay. Hey, you take it, okay? God, that is almost as frightening as when real Disney comes to you and says that you infringe their copyright. All right, and time to be a pirate of the Caribbean. We're landing in Cuba, and I don't think anybody here can oppose us. Yeah, look at that. Powerful. We really are the hasting of this universe. Wait, what? I never realized this. Does it cost me prestige to raid? Am I losing it? Non-tribal characters lose 1.5 prestige per one loot? Oh! Huh. Um, we have enough prestige, I guess, but I never even realized that. We're going to Brazil and we're taking everything they have. Ooh, and now I think we should be doing something daring here. First of all, I can actually create a kingdom, and I think I should just do that right away. There's... Oh no, it might activate raiding! I actually forgot about that. I said it, and that is why we're raiding, and then my brain immediately zoned out. I will go for Brazil. If I capture her or any of her pelts, it would be really... I love this guy's beard, by the way. It would be really good, and she seems to be occupied. Look at that. Her troops are somewhere down here. It's a gigantic empire. I don't think they can oppose me. I will just sacrifice a couple of people as we walk into the jungle, I guess, and maybe it'll work out. We are now actually and indeed going to Brazil. Uh, what kind of vessels do we have around? Oh God, that is a gigantic vessel, but also at war. Howdy partner, it's me, the Texan Hastine. I captured her niece, so she does have royal blood, but <laughs> she's also a hunchback. I guess she really does have royal blood, huh? We will be getting a new concubine right here because these are perfect trade combinations. Is Jack Sparrow still alive, by the way? So he starts over here, Jacques of La Tortilla. There he is. He still lives and he's doing pretty okay. Uh, if I try to raid him, I would get... Oh, he's in a war. I would not get destroyed. So you know what? Let's raid Jack Sparrow just as the last really grand raid here. I really love that he's still in the game. He was in CK2, also one of my favorite com uh, campaigns I've ever done. Uh, and yeah, he's just a lot of fun. But who is the real pirate of the Caribbean now, huh? Hmm. But that may have been it for our raiding time, because now we will come a king, and again, I think at the very least that I can still raise as raiders. I guess we're just too small or something? Who the hell knows? Listen, I have become a mighty, mighty patriarch, Hastine the Proud. 
with my very own and very ugly throne room. I hate this wallpaper. It's legitimately like the worst thing that you can get here. And now since we are hoping to get a hybrid culture between our culture and the Texans forming the ultimate Texan, uh, this is the one time in your life that a holding court might actually be useful. There are so many events in the holding court event pool that can give you more acceptance. This is a really good approach, but Again, entirely luck based. It's the last guy and it actually worked out. Oh my god, look at that. We could host a small Texan fan in League City and this will stress me out, but we will gain 20% cultural acceptance. That is about, what, 18 years of waiting in one singular event. Now we will go bankrupt, I will get a stress break, I don't care. I need that cultural acceptance. Again, you can get lucky and we did. I find the idea of this kingdom so stupidly funny, by the way. Like <laughs> We haven't been up there in ages. I actually never raided here because it was never worth it or I was just too weak to do it at the time. But there's just these three counties, the, these three guys, they're just hanging out and they're like, hey, who do you answer to? Well, it's this king. He used to be here and then in Florida and now he's in Texas. We haven't heard of him for a couple of months, but we pay him taxes. So like all is good, right? And then they just keep existing here. <laughs> and we have a new son and he's half Texan and his name is just Bill. Hey, I'm Prince Bill. I will be King Bill. <laughs> Honestly, I gotta make this kid my heir. See now, ideally, I would actually love it if we could found not just the Kingdom of the Old Star, you see I am blobbing here, but instead if we went for the Lone Star. And to do that, I have to conquer a whole lot. Uh, we're doing fairly okay when it comes to our prestige. Once we get Exalted Among Men, I can do a Kingdom tier invasion. So that's a pretty good pacing right here. But other than that, I just need to eat my way through all these duchies. Luckily, they are all independent, so I can just eat around the Numonu Sukobitu, and then we can invade them, and that should be it. Let's try to get it. I am a snake. I am, I am going around as a snake. Wait, this is where Albuquerque is? Albuquerque is, is all the way down here? What is this, like Arizona? I thought Albuquerque was in, I don't know, Iowa, Ohio? <laughs> It's down here? God. All right, listen, pal, come out with your hands in the air. We got you surrounded. <laughs> this is such an ugly kingdom, but it works and I can now invade him and hopefully come out ahead and form the empire. And here we will have the most decisive battle of this entire playthrough. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Oh God, it's actually looking way closer than I anticipated given the troop count, but we are holding and now we're winning. Whew, seems like a victory. Whew, and here you go. We have taken... Oh, we got the entire thing. I thought we took... <laughs> I thought we were only going to take Red River, but we got the whole thing. I was not sure whether we would have enough to found the Empire, but now I'm absolutely certain, yeah. We we just full annexed them. I, I misunderstood that. I thought the war goal was actually just for the kingdom that, you know, I was going for, but hey, be that as it may. That means we just need some more money, and then I can become the rightful emperor of the one and only Lone Star taxes did we gain did we gain a little bit of weight since we then came down here oh all right um i was just about to raid brazil again and then i found there is no brazil <laughs> oh my god and now i found out that my concubine <laughs> my concubine inherited the kingdom of keara huh uh good to know yeehaw fellas oh no uh <laughs> I don't want to, if I speak, I'm in trouble, okay? All right, at this point, I'm going to be honest with you. We have achieved virtually everything. I am still, I have to admit it, very, very mad because I was looking at this and I saw this and it said, hey, you know what you can do? You can totally create cheese. And then I was never able to do it. Instead, we're just going to turn around and become Texan. I will be fully assimilated. I will absorb Texan, uh, Texan culture, much like Hastings so far has absorbed their food. Let's convert to their culture and then see whether we can't do a cookout, an actual barbecue, because not being able to make cheese has been the worst thing in my entire life. All right, we have now con- Oh my god. I don't even care whether I can do a cookout. This is perfect. Are you- Look at this man. <laughs> oh my god. I think I actually got scammed here. I can't do any barbecues. I can host a feast, but it's just a normal feast. There's nothing special about it at all. And there doesn't seem to be a decision, at least I can't see it. I think the after the end devs actually scammed me here. And you know what that means? That means that I will never touch this mod again until about next week. Folks, and I think with all that, I am Doug Dimmerdome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmerdome, and I'm out.